Yo, what's up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking Johnson 4 here bringing you guys some Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. And yes, I know, guys, it has been a very long time since I last uploaded one of these videos. And uh, let me tell you guys why. And let me tell you guys why I stopped, you know, everything, all the details. So, uh, what happened in that one week where I uploaded a bunch of Advanced Warfare on the weekend of that week, I ended up quitting. And let me tell you guys the main reasons why. One of the main reasons was frustration. I was getting tired of carrying teams, noob teams. I was taking them against against clans. Yes, there would be some moments where it was like so like intense that we were like almost tied. We we're like we'll be like around five tags behind or four tags and kill confirm or maybe like a few points away in domination and people quit. I was like, why do people quit mid match? I don't fucking get it. We're a few points away. Nobody was calling in kill streaks a bunch of times. Nobody was calling in system hack. Everything was going well, but people tend to quit. And I was like, I'm getting tired of this bullshit. Because most of the time, I started to notice in the lobbies that I will end up going forward against eight. I was like, fuck this shit. You know, if nobody's gonna cooperate, I might as well fucking quit on this game. I mean, I will be going like 20 and 10 and shit. I'm not. Go I'm not going like oh, all superior like fucking 40 and 5 or something. But like. I was doing good to the point where I can actually carry the team in a good way and support the mob, but if they all quit on me, how am I supposed to capture flags? How am I supposed to do all these objectives? You know, I just can't. And yes, on Modern Warfare 3, I can do that all by myself. And in Black Ops 1. On those two games, I can do everything by myself. But, you know, this thing's new, and also I'm not carrying the silencers like, like I used to before back in Modern Warfare 3. Um, you know, everything's different, and I need some fucking help. Alright? I need some fucking good teammates. So that's one of the things that really got me frustrated that one week where I ended up quitting. Um, another thing that really got me was the system hack. The system hack was being freaking spammed 100% of the time. It was system hack after system hack. People were camping. Enemies were camping for the system hack. I mean, the fucking game is exposed up the ass. I'm telling you guys, the system hack needs to be harder to get what the fuck is this bullshit it's like the EMP it's like around five kills and you'll get it that's how it is that's how I, that's how I see it EMP is so easy to get now system hack is EMP anyways you can do that like from the um, you know from the extra skills it has but yeah I mean system hack was being spawned I mean spammed all the time so I ended up like you know I was getting even more frustrated along with that and also teammates will quit halfway the, down the match you know everything was just going downhill and I was like Fuck this. I ain't gonna go solo this year. I just can't. I just can't fucking do this shit. So, um, I ended up quitting. Guys, I don't know. I really don't feel it. I don't really don't like this game. I still don't like it to this day. I still think that the game is still a piece of shit. And the players within the game are pieces of shit. But I guess so. I guess I'll just play it because I heard some rumors for the next Call of Duty that uh, the next Call of Duty is gonna be the same thing as this one. Even though it's being developed by Treyarch, it's still gonna be the same thing. Instead of jetpacks, though, I heard that instead of jetpacks, we're gonna be mutants. We're gonna be like people with superpowers. Apparently, we're gonna be like jumping around without jetpacks, and um, you know, we're gonna be mutants. We're gonna have super jump, and that's it. You know, so I'm like, okay, if it's gonna be the same thing, might as well get used to it, I guess. That's one of the reasons why I return back, because it's gonna be the same thing in the next Call of Duty. Anyways, guys, um, let's move on to the gameplay. You know, with the explanations on why this guy, this gun, the SN6 out of the SMG division, is the most underrated current weapon right now in Call of Duty: Advanced Warfare. Because I know everyone right now is using the ASM, but the truth is, guys, the ASM I used it off the first week of Call of Duty: Advanced Warfare. Nobody reported on it. I did see some videos from uh, the orgasmic Allier over there who's always having orgasms over Call of Duty and shit. And, um, you know, I was just freaking YouTube it and nobody had videos of the a a ASM at all. It didn't come out until the battle was nerfed and then everybody started using the ASM. But the truth is, I discovered the ASM right out the first fucking week. And that's why I was doing so fucking good in the first place. My first gameplay was with the ASM. So that's a missed opportunity right there, guys. You guys can already tell, like, I could have done something with Call of Duty Advanced Warfare a long time ago. But, um, you know, eh, whatever, you know, people tend to not look at the underdog at all. But anyways, um, the SN6, guys, why is it underdogish? Why is it underrated? Why isn't nobody using it? Uh, one of the reasons why it's completely underrated is because of the amount of damage it does per bullet, it's good. It takes, like, around one-third of the mag to kill a person. 
It really does. Even without the rapid fire, which I'll be including on my next gameplay. Because in this gameplay, guys, the, the class setup is uh, foregrip and red dot sight. That's the class setup that I'm currently using right now. And the next gameplay is going to be the red dot sight with the foregrip with the rapid, rapid fire. And it's going to be a big difference, guys. So you should be able to see a big difference between these two guns. And, uh, you know, I believe it's a lot better with the rapid fire because it's going to add more combat, you know, trouble when it comes down to close range. Right now, it's good for medium to short range, but, you know, from very, very close, you know, 1v1 situations, this gun ain't no good. So, um, yeah, right now I'm just using it because, uh, you know, I wanted to get the rapid fire and it came out good even without the rapid fire. So I'm like, all right, there's two ways to use it if you want it. So, um, anyway, you see how the SN6, guys, it's very underrated. It does a lot of damage. It does have a good amount of rapid fire. Um, even without the rapid fire atta attachment, you know, the, the, the amount of the fire rate is good. It's good enough to fight against people like from certain range, and also um, the hip fire is very freaking accurate. Like you can just shoot that thing from medium range, and you will hit somebody pretty good. And um, the problem is that the freaking reloading suck. Compared to the KF5, the reload is super slow, so you're gonna have to watch out with that. Every time you finish that mag, you better hide, cause you ain't gonna reload that quick. And um, the SN6, I think it's a lot better, currently better than uh, the KF5. Because the KF5, I believe it got nerfed. That gun ain't strong like how it was the first day when I freaking customized it. Because I did a class setup on the KF5, and I did the, the Gamo class setup. And it was pretty good those few days that I used it. But now it looks freaking weak as hell. So if they nerfed it, I guess, you know, whatever. I can always find another gun. And this the, the gun that I'm currently using right now most of the time is the SN6. And it's looking good. And um, so that's why I think it's underrated. It's stronger than the KF5. It's uh, more accurate from the hip fire position compared to the ASM. The ASM has a good amount of range, though. It does have a good amount of range, a good amount of rapid fire. And uh, with the foregrip, you should be able to not miss against anyone when it comes down to shooting. But when it comes down to SN6, the SN6 has a good amount of hip fire, has a good amount of uh, damage being done. The problem is that you don't have the good amount of fire rate to take out anyone from close range. And you can do that with the ASM, actually. So like, there's some pros and cons between these two guns. But I believe the SN6 is the strongest one compared to this. Don't, don't worry about the stats, guys. It's all about the gameplay-wise. And when I say that, you know, you got to play it to feel it. And don't worry about the stats, you know. It's exactly that I did, what I did with the MP7. A lot of people did not believe me the, the freaking MP7 was strong. But when I played the game, people were telling me that, you know, it's actually good. Compared to the PDW, the MSMC, and the Scorpion Evil back in Black Ops 2. And, you know, they finally believe me. You know, it's not about the stats. It's about how you freaking have the, the gun customized to your favor. So, um, so, yeah, that's why I think, you know... Use the SN6 when on, guys. Like, try to use it, try to get used to it, and you able to be more patient along the way. And also, this gun creates patience. It really does. Because uh, uh, with the KF5, you know, I'll go crazy out there. I'm the freaking fastest guy out there reloading as quick as possible, quick killing everybody, you know, with the rapid fire. You guys have seen my KF5 class setup. So, um, the SN6, you know, I believe it's good. That's why I think it's very underrated. A lot of people use the ASM, uh, the AK, the... Uh, you know, the other assault rifles out there, shotguns, snipers, you know, but the SN6, rarely anybody uses it. It's kind of a combination of the PDW from Black Ops 2 and the Vector CRB from uh, Black Ops, um, from Call of Duty Ghost. And that's how the combination is going on here, so that's why I'm like, yeah, I can probably develop this gun pretty good. So anyways, guys, that's the end of the game, 180 to 132. Make sure, make sure you check out the SN6. The best class setup for the SN6 will be coming out soon, guys, maybe like two days after this. Um... I'm probably back, guys, but not full time. Alright, guys, so if you miss me in Call of Duty, I'm just playing in temporary. So that's it, guys. Leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what's up, and tell me how you feel about the SN6. Is it good for you, or you guys want to test it out? Let me know in the comment section. So I'll see you guys later, and subscribe for more Call of Duty Advanced Warfare.